some quick news before I actually get into this video. There is double money this week on the Mobile Operations Center in GTA Online. And uh, apparently it's advertising that by May 19th, it will deposit a $100,000 bonus into your Maze Bank account. So if you definitely want to do that. Now, it's unclear. I'm not really 100% sure if it is $100,000 per every time you do a mobile operations mission. But, uh, it's, I mean, it's something as, you know, something you can try out. So definitely go and grab that. But uh, that's initially what I was actually making this video about. But the more I got thinking into more of what I was actually going to, to say in this video, it just, it got me really thinking about the state of GTA Online. And let's be honest, GTA Online is massively successful. I mean, to, to say the least. And as of right now, frankly, I, I just don't get it. I mean, there is a lot to do, but it's gotten real stale. I mean, for the past year, year and a half, I have been playing GTA Online almost nonstop. And I'm one where my friends were questioning me. I mean, they were like, you know, oh, how can you play just one game all the time, constantly? And I mean, really, it's because I've, I've had a goal. I mean, when I started, I mean, I was grinding out my vehicle and special cargo warehouse. And basically because I only had one goal, and that was that I really, really wanted the Deluxo. And when I finally grinded out enough money to actually get the Deluxo, I bought it and then gave myself another goal and so on and so on. I mean, I can keep on going about the types of goals that I've had. But honestly, now that the KO Perico has been out for, uh, uh, what it's been like four or five, maybe even six months. I'm not 100% sure, but it's so easy to get 1.2 million dollars. And really, the only real goal that I have now is just vehicle collecting. I mean, uh, there's still some content that I'm gonna make for YouTube, but I pretty much own everything in the game outside of uh, just certain vehicles and uh, just stuff that I just want to buy just to have, you know. And I have all the important vehicles, the vehicles that uh, w will help me grind, basically. I pretty much got all those. But for a company that is now in the billions, I think last year it like made like $5 billion. But for a game that has been in the billions, I mean, Rockstar has only made maybe one solid game in over eight years. And yes, I'm looking at you, Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, that game was phenomenal i mean to, to say the least i mean that was it's one of my favorite besides gta it's one of my favorite games and but as far as gta games i mean there have been none i mean except for the online and they basically only put maybe one good update per year i mean for a company that's worldwide i mean i beg the question rockstar what are you doing besides the less than frequent updates you know, they've got money glitches that people can exploit, but I guess after that whole garage glitch thing, they've really been keeping good tabs on it. There are aspects of the game that are just no longer fun. I mean, like like the griefers. <laughs> oh my gosh, the griefers. There was a time when we could glitch ourselves into a solo public session, but I'm pretty sure that Rockstar has actually patched it. Going into a solo public lobby is basically how I actually grinded out most of the money that I had without having to deal with the griefers. There are literally hundreds of game modes that just don't pay enough for me to actually play as often as I would like to. And I mean, don't get my words twisted. I mean, I'm not trying to say that GTA Online completely sucks, but for new players that doesn't know anything about the game, it does suck. I get on there to have fun, to make some money, and to just have like a virtual flex. But sometimes you get on there and you meet just some douchebag that just wants to make your experience complete crap. And again, there are ways that Rockstar has gotten around that, but sometimes someone slips through the cracks. But now that they took away the solo public lobbies, why? Again, I mean, I, I beg the question. Rockstar, what are you doing? I have had friends complain. <laughs> to me about GTA and just the lack of content and it's in the right I mean how can how could a company such as Fortnite only have just a couple creators and have content out every month every couple of months at least but a, a company as huge and as wide as is Rockstar something worldwide they only have out one good update per year 
So one last time I ask Rockstar, what are you doing? <laughs>